Hey everybody, Robert Robbins at the Corolla Light Resort. I want to thank you for viewing volume 16 of Golf Talk with Robert Robbins. The young man that you have in front of you is a very good friend of mine, Mr. Doug Derringer. The model for this week's episode really needs no introduction. It is the one and only Mr. Fred Couples. This week's topic of discussion is going to be stability in the lower body as well as the importance of good extension. I'm going to start out by drawing a line 90 degrees up off of Doug's right foot. I'd like for you to pay very close attention to the amount of space that Doug has in the lower body and this yellow line. I'm also going to put Doug's swing plane up. We're going to go ahead at this time and put the golf swing into motion. Let's notice how Doug takes the golf club back underneath the plane. At this point in the golf swing, you can certainly see how Doug gets the golf club stuck behind his body. This sort of takeaway certainly leads into a sliding or swaying motion. You notice how Doug has now lost the amount of space that he had in between the right hip and the yellow line. We'll move on to the top of the guy swing. You can see how Doug has actually crossed the yellow line. Now through impact, let's pay very close attention to Doug's, both Doug's left and right arm. You can see how the left and right arm appear to be breaking down. You'll also notice that the right hand appears to be underneath the left. This tells us that the club face in Doug's golf swing is certainly open, as well as the fact that he is not reaching maximum club head speed. I'm now going to put up in the frame on the right a video of Mr. Fred Couples. You'll notice in Fred Couples' setup position, there's certainly space in between the right hip and yellow line. We'll go ahead and start the guy swing into motion. Notice that at this point in Fred's golf swing, he's maintained the space that he had in the setup position, as well as at the top of his golf swing. He has maintained the space between the right hip and yellow line. As we now begin to move towards the impact position and so on, let's pay very close attention to Fred's left and right arm. You'll notice that both the left and right arm are fully extended. You'll also notice that the right hand has now passed the left. Because of this, we, there is no doubt that Fred Couples has reached maximum club head speed in his golf swing, as well as he has squared the club face up through impact. So that's about all I have for this week's episode of Golf Talk with Robert Robbins. Volume 16. If you're struggling with your golf swings, let's pay very close attention to the stability in our lower body, or maybe the lack thereof. Let's also pay very close attention to extension in the golf swing. If any of you are interested in finding out more about me and my thoughts of the golf swing, please don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, my contact information is down below. If you would like to send me a video, you can certainly do so by visiting robertrobbinsgolf.com. Once on my website, just click on the send me a video button, and the rest is pretty simple. So again, thank you for viewing. I enjoyed volume 16 of Golf Talk with Robert Robbins, and I hope to see you soon.